exterior soffit and fascia trim is installed, along with metal lathe to prepare the plywood sheathing for stucco siding. The finished trim molding is installed on the five columns at the front entry. The garage doors are installed. Drywall texture is applied on the ceiling of the front entry. Metal lathe is applied in preparation for the stucco siding. The tray ceiling in the master bedroom has drywall installed. The kitchen ceiling and skylight window. Kitchen drywall seams are taped. The octagonal living room. Front door drywall has texture applied to the walls and ceiling. Guest bedroom too. The octagonal living room ceiling is painted with primer. Garage ceiling receiving primer finished. The exterior stucco siding is finished and the windows are trimmed. View of guest bedroom one and shared bathroom exterior walls. The septic tank is installed on the left side of the house. Drain fields are placed in the yard connecting to the septic tank. A rectangular porcelain tile is installed in an offset grout joint pattern throughout the home. The octagonal living room tile and grout are installed. Guest bedroom too. The shared guest bathroom cabinetry and bathtub are installed. The master bathroom water closet has a toilet and bidet. The mosaic shower floor in the master bathroom has a square tile-in drain. What looks like a black square outline is actually an open channel that water flows through for draining. The kitchen cabinetry is installed and ready for countertops. Wall for refrigerator and double oven. Granite for the kitchen and quartz for the master and guest bathrooms are ready to be installed. Installation of the granite snack bar. A granite backsplash is installed in the cooktop area. The niche near the front entry has a granite shelf. A large slab of quartz is carefully moved to the master bathroom walk-in shower. One of three quartz slab walls are installed in the shower. Large vanity in master bathroom with quartz countertop the smaller vanity in master bathroom. The walls of the bathtub in the guest shared bathroom are also solid pieces of quartz. Double vanity in the guest bathroom. Site grading is done to even the ground and adjust the slope to prepare for the driveway. Driveway forms are installed to shape the driveway and hold the poured concrete in place until it is dry the walkway to the front entry. As the concrete is poured, it is flattened and leveled for an even top. A power trowel is used to smooth the concrete surface before it dries. View of the driveway. Front entry walkway. A concrete slab is also installed near the garage for outdoor mechanical equipment. Irrigation for lawn sprinklers. Pine straw and plants for landscaping. Argentine Bahia sod is installed. Gutters and downpipes are installed around the home. A mosaic backsplash tile is installed on the cooktop wall. Backsplash complete. An exhaust fan valance is built to conceal the fan venting through the wall. The cooktop and electrical outlets are installed. Whirlpool dishwasher. Whirlpool wall oven and microwave. The construction of the screened-in porch has started. In Florida, a screened-in porch is called a lanai. The garage floor is receiving an epoxy finish. This will protect the concrete floor and provide easy cleaning for dirt and liquids. Front of the house. Left side. 
view from the left side back corner. Back view. Right side of the house. Come back and see how the Winston three-car garage build progresses through the move-in process in part three.